forget to ring that bell. Hello, class, and welcome. Happy holidays. Au revoir. Bye bye now. Anyway, yeah, I didn't know what to say there. I'm going to show you how to use color pencils today and to improve on them. So, this might be a two powder, so get ready for that. Alright, let's go straight into it. Okay, let's get started now. Money matters in this situation, but if you want to keep color penciling, first you have to have a practice brand first. And I think the best practice brand you could get anywhere else is Crayola, not Rose Art. Please, stay away from Rose Art. <clears throat> think about it, if you are practicing with Crayola and you like the feel of color pencils, then a more expensive brand will feel ten times better. You practice with Crayola and then you'll know if color pencils is the medium you want to work with. But cheap is waxy, you say. Well, if you are an expert at waxy material now, then you will be a mega expert when you have the most expensive brand. You're basically building a superpower. You have to overcome the bad before you get to the good. Proof of this, listen to our well-known artist, Glee! Start running, you will catch a cramp, wouldn't you? And you might damage yourself. So it's best not to start with something very expensive. Maybe start with Crayola, which every artist kind of have, not Rose Art. To hold your pencil. Ring finger is your resting finger. Middle and thumb is your hold fingers. Pointer is your leverage, along with the pinky. And that's how you hold your pencils. Ta da! Le Fresha. With every medium you have, you need to know how to handle your pressure even with digital art. Because most little tablets that come out today have a pressure system thingy inside of it. My tablet has a pressure system thingy inside of it too. But as an artist, you have to practice with an ordinary pencil first before you start running before you crawl. I haven't had a pencil for a while. A very long while. Wow. I think this last time was like a number two pencil for, for a test or something. That was just an unpopular opinion from an artist that we all know. Hardline pressure. Hardline's pressure or pressing your pencil hard is great for shading. Soft line, less pressure. Soft lines are best for well, also shading, but a more light, delicate shading. It's also good for textures, too. Textures! Just like a pencil which has cross-hatching, stippling, lines, circles, and shapes of all kinds, blocks, squares, um, triangles, uh, I don't think I have all of them, but you know, you went to basic school. It's exactly the same as color pencils, hence color pencils. The bad sharpener. Sharpening is not only to get a point, but to get the shortest or longer points. Mm, well, I guess that is getting a point, isn't it? The sharper your pencil, the more cleaner lines you get. The duller the pencil is the best for shading. So, sharper is for detailing and duller is for shading. Well, at least for me. It depends. There's no right or wrong way, there's easy and hard ways. Well, look at that, it's been well over five minutes. Okay, next class is part two. And we're gonna be color mixing to make a unique color or a 
unique gradients for your shading and your lighting, your light shading to have you. So stay tuned for that next week or next class or maybe even tomorrow. It won't be tomorrow because I have some editing to do. But it will be like a live stream and it's really fun for me so I hope you enjoy it. Resort is the waxiest ever.